Every time I lay my head at night, I pray to God, watch over me, cause I ain't living right. Reminiscing how I told you that I've been hurt before. Then you hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm basically gonna show you guys uh what I did what I did earlier. Uh have this uh I can't remember what year, but it's a, a Hyundai Elantra. The basically uh my friend hit me up, he called me and he let me know that his he told me that one of his friends is strand is stranded because his car uh broke down. So he thought it was the battery and uh it wasn't the battery it was basically the alternator but i'm going to show you guys before i'm going to show you guys in this video how vehicles just reacted and i got this uh jump box and everything that i used it's right here it's called uh top vision yeah top vision i'm, I'm, I'm actually charging it right now because it's basically killed it it was like on 70 something percent like 73 percent so I basically went and I put the the jump I connect the jump box. It start up real good. It start up actually strong and then it shuts off. So that's when you know that's a sign of your alternator going out. It's not regenerating no power. The alternator is basically done. So without alternator, your car is is not gonna go. You're not gonna go nowhere. Once the alternator is is, is done, it'll start off. It start up and it shut back off, and that will basically kill the battery. So first, we thought that it was the uh, the terminals, cause the, ter the terminals was loose. But I, I tighten up the terminals to make sure the terminals is tightened up. And those terminals that he have on the car, those need to re be replaced as well. Whenever he get that uh, alternator, get a new alternator, he need to change the battery terminals because they are loose it's not really tight and tight enough and that's kind of bad you driving around not getting the right voltage to push the car but that wasn't the case the case was the alternator is basically bad I'm gonna show you guys a picture of the alternator uh, let you guys know just something to for you guys to learn you know all cars mostly all cars have alternators once it's not electric you know you have an alternator in the vehicle once that goes bad you got to get it replaced there's no coming back you're not going to go nowhere you're not going to go far it's not going to even get you down the street it's going to keep shutting off you keep jumping it it's going to shut off the car's just going to keep on shutting off without the alternator the car is not going to go nowhere so let's get into this video let me show you guys what we did and how everything end up Let's get into it. All right, guys. Here I am. This is reading 11.1 volts. We're going to see if it's going to start up. There we go. Now it's showing 13 from This right here kind of loose. Hmm. Yeah. This no, terminal. Hey, 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 wait, 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 wait. Okay. Yeah, this terminal kind of loose. He got anything to tighten it up? We need to, we need to tighten yeah. It, to tighten it. it shut back off. Yeah, we're gonna need to connect it back. It's probably mostly like a like a ten. Nah, that's too big. You don't got nothing small? Seems like that one, right? Okay. Yeah, that's you don't got nothing small? Yeah, cause this is way too loose. Way too loose. Right here. Yeah, this one. Um, let me see if I got a ten. Left all my tools. No, that's not good. That's not working. Seems like it's more. It's stripping it more than it's doing any work. Let me go in my car and see if I got any. That's the cold pit right there. The alternator. So we're gonna connect it. 
one more time and see what's up. Oh yeah, hold that. So we're we'll gonna just put this on the negative on negative, positive on positive. As you can see, it's showing the battery voltage. This is 11.3, 13 volts. Go ahead. Start. As you can see, it start up normally. So you start up normally, guys, and uh, you can see the voltage. Yeah, the alternator is not doing its job. Shut back off. Yeah, so that's the sign of the alternator is no good. Need to be replaced. Because it's not charging. It's not recharging. The vehicle shut back off. So... That's the problem, guys. I uh, appreciate the love and the support you guys coming through, watching my video. Uh, if you have it, this type of problems, it's the alternator that needs to be replaced because it's not, it's not, re it's not, re it's not restarting. the The battery is not giving the battery no power to recharge. Once that's gone, there's no way the battery is gonna push, push the vehicle. There you have it guys if you come across that problem just know that the alternator is done need to be replaced you can check your terminal get a jump start and the car shut back off just like that it's the alternator is the culprit it's basically done need to be replaced don't hesitate you could get it towed to a shop or get it towed home until you get the money to get it fixed at a shop. But that's all I want to share with you guys. Hope you guys learned something. You know, it's a lot of different things be happening to vehicles. They go out, certain parts get old. Uh, when they go out, they just go out. You just never know when they go go out. That's why it's good to keep keep your vehicle maintained and get certain checkups. You just never know. It's man-made. Hey, you just never know what could happen. But I really appreciate the love and support. You guys watching my videos. Thank you guys for everything. Peace. Take care. Have a blessed, safe day. And I'm out of here, man. Peace out. Bye-bye. Take care. God bless.